Here we've got a different series and we're looking for the radius center and interval of convergence. So I've started this by, re by already writing the ratio test. We're going to simplify some of this complicated stuff. When I multiply 3 times n, I get 3n. Three, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so we have 3n plus 4 here. Same thing in the denominator, 3n plus 4 factorial. The original was just 3n plus 1 factorial and x to the 3n plus 1, so those are rewritten. And now we'll start breaking down what these can really be rewritten as. So keep in mind 3n plus 4 factorial and 3n plus 1 factorial are separated by the terms after 3n plus 1. So that would be 3n plus 2, 3n plus 3, and 3n plus 4. And so then the 3n plus 1 factorial cancel out exactly. Similarly, x to the 3n and x to the 3n are the same. And x to the 4th and x to the 1 simplify to x cubed on top and 3n plus 4 times 3n plus 3 times 3n plus 2 in the denominator. And we're looking for that limit as n approaches infinity, and we're looking for that to be less than 1. So hopefully you can see how much bigger the denominator is because n is going to infinity and x is just a number like 1 or 2 or even 100 or 1,000. Even when x is 1,000 and we cube it, it's still less, much less, than these three infinitely large quantities. So that means no matter what we plug in for x, we will always be less than 1 because this limit is 0. And 0 is less than 1. So that means my interval of convergence is from negative infinity to infinity, or all real numbers. And so our center is x equals 0, but our radius is infinity. Never seen one like this before. But when the limit is 0, then it doesn't matter what x is and we'll have an infinite interval of convergence.